Welcome back to Brett's Hang, I'm Brett Barnett. This is another hardware makeover, number 16. I love these videos. What I love about them so much is that this is the video where you guys get to send me pictures of your setup and videos of your setup, and I get to choose one each episode to remake in my own way using Gibraltar hardware. I keep all of your stuff the same, but I just show you guys different ways of using Gibraltar. It's really very cool. For those of you that have not submitted yet and you want to, you can submit to brenthang.gibraltar at gmail.com. So, let's see who this episode's drummer is. Really, dude? I'll post it. Used to, it used to be a, uh, uh, an envelope with a nice, you know, textured, texturized paper and, you know, it felt soft to the touch. Now it's just a pink post-it note. Diminished to that, really. That's respectful. All right. So, Blaze Rantanen. All right, so let's see what Blaze is working with here. But Bla before we start, dude, I gotta ask, is that a nickname or is that your real name? It's gotta be a nickname that your buddies gave you in high school when you guys were hanging out. I'm just kidding. Anyways, so Blaze is playing a seven piece kit. He's got eight, 10, 14, 16, 22, 14 inch snare, and then another 14 inch side snare. He's got three crashes, two on his left side, one on his right side, then he's got three splashes, one, two, three, right between the hi-hat and the 10 inch tom. He's got a ride cymbal, an X-hat, and then he's also on top of his right main crash, he's got like, a ice, like an ice bell. Far right, he's got a china. Okay, so let's start from left to right. On his far left side, he's got his 14 inch auxiliary snare mounted to a snare stand. His left secondary crash is mounted to its own cymbal stand. Then he's got his hi-hat on a three-legged hi-hat stand. The far left splash, we'll call this one number one, is mounted to its, its own cymbal stand. And then we have uh, the left main crash that's got its own cymbal stand. Now, the secondary, uh, the, se the second splash, which is number two, is mounted on a little uh, accessory arm directly off of the left main, left main crash. Move over to his rack toms. He's got his 10 inch rack tom and his eight inch rack tom mounted in that order, which is really cool because you go around the kit and you go do 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 as opposed to do 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 which is really cool. Um, he's mounting that on his bass drum and then he's got his third splash right here in front mounted out of the extra um, clamp in the, uh, the bass drum mount. Moving over to the right hand side, he's got his ride cymbal. Then he's got his uh, right main crash mounted directly to its own cymbal stand, and then the, and the ice bell is mounted on top of that. Now his X hat is mounted to its own, it's got an actual hi hat stand that he's, that he's not using, it's just closed, so he's using it as a closed hi hat, um, and then his china on the far back is using its own cymbal stand. So, you've seen Blaze's version, now let's see what I did to it. So Blaze is using stands with his setup, and he's got a lot of cymbals, which creates a lot of congestion on the floor. There's tripods that are competing for space. So I thought this was a great opportunity to use a rack. I mean, I like using stands, and I like using racks. You know, but this is a great opportunity to show you the other side of stands. And you know, I'm always up for a great rack. So what I did was I created two side racks. And what's great about these side racks is that you can they, they stand alone without having to be connected in the center by one bar. So you can set everything else up off stage and then bring them on stage already, already completely assembled, which is great. So on the far left side, what I did was I used the GCS 302C, which is our front basic curved rack. It has 30 inch vertical legs and then a 46 inch curved crossbar. Now it also comes with two mini booms that are really very cool. I actually decided to use this as a side rack instead of the traditional way of putting it over the bass drum. So, cool idea. You can be used in multiple ways. You just have to uh, 
think a little bit differently than what you see all the time. So let's see how I have everything supported here. On the far left side, we're going to start with this uh, auxiliary snare. I've, I'm using the uh, 9706 NL, which is the legless snare stand, mounted directly off of the back vertical leg. And I'm using the SCGC MAMC, which is the multi-angle multi-clamp to mount, to mount the snare and position it exactly where I want. What's cool about this clamp is that you guys have seen, you can adjust the, ex the accessory side at whatever angle you need so that I can position my snare, I can shoot it up off at an angle from the back of the leg instead of coming off at a 90 degree. Now, my left auxiliary crash, I've got mounted directly to the rack using one of the boom arms that comes with the rack. Then my uh, first splash over here is using uh, a mini boom mounted directly to the crossbar. And then my secondary splash is mounted out of the front leg of the rack. So I don't have to use the bar, I can use the front leg of the rack right out of the RMAA. Then my left main crash is mounted directly off of a, of a, of a 24 inch curved wing that I added right to the front of the rack. So it looks like you almost have a three sided rack, but you don't because it's just a, just a curved wing right in front. My hi-hat, I'm using a legless hi-hat which is a 9707 NLDP and I'm connecting it to the rack using the SCEA 100. Now, moving back over to this front area, um, as you see, I've got the 24 inch curved wing, wing mounted directly off of the, the front leg of the rack and I'm holding the 10 inch and uh, eight inch rack toms. Now, now, if I were to just leave this set up as it is, because of the weight that, this, uh, that is being pr placed right here on the rack toms, the rack might want to teeter a little bit. So in order to counter that, what I did was I added a legless snare stand to it. So I'm using the Stealth Bent Bar right here, the GPRS BAR, the GPRS bar. And I'm connecting it to a legless, a legless snare stand. So this acts as the third leg of the, of the triangle per se. So it prevents all the stress from coming down this way and supports the rack to be rock solid like you always need it to be. So, Back to the, uh, the, the, the third splash over here. I've got this mounted just using a regular mini boom arm, uh, just boom rod. I'm not actually using a boom arm. Mounted directly to the front of the, the crossbar, and this is the SC, S, uh, SBRA BT. Now, that was a lot to swallow right there. So, let's take a breather. So, on the right hand side, I created a kind of a custom side rack. And this was very simple. It's a 36 inch curved crossbar and the legs are 20 inches front and back and then I'm using the, the large T-leg assemblies. So the ride symbol is being mounted directly out of the front, front vertical leg. Then I've got my right main crash and a Z-bell, not Z-bell, ice bell, uh, mounted off of the crossbar. Now I go over to the X-hat over here and remember he had um, another hi-hat stand. Well, we, uh, we replaced it with the X-hat mini boom arm, which is the SC4425 XHMB. Oh yeah. And then the China is mounted directly out of the back leg. So the product highlights for today's makeover are the GCS302C, which is the front basic curved rack with two mini booms. We have the 9706 NL legless snare stand, the SC GC MAMC multi angle adjust, adjustable multi clamp, which is what attaches the legless snare stand to the back leg. We have the SC EA100, which is an extension arm with an adjustable angle multi clamp to attach the legless hi hat stand to the rack. Then we have a 24 inch curve bar, which is the SC GPR 24C. Now this is the wing that I use to attach the rack toms with over the bass drum and the other two cymbals. The other, the other highlight is the SC 4425 XHMB. Now this is a mini boom with an X hat on the end, so you can, you can play fixed hi hats onto a rack without having to use a stand. We have, I have a ton of other parts on here, but these are highlighted because these are the most essential pieces to make this type of setup work. All these other, I've got two different types of cymbal arms on here, 
and mainly to show that you can use either the ratchet tilters or that you could use the brake tilters. It's up to you. The rack comes with the ratchet tilter, so I kept that in there. Then I wanted to add a different set of uh, cymbal arms with it as well. So Blaze, I wanted to thank you for submitting and allowing me to mess with your kit. I mean, I love how you have the 10 and the 8 set in the, in the, in the way that you do. It's, it's non-traditional, and I love when I see kits that are set up non-traditionally. For those of you that would like to submit and haven't already, please send all of your submissions to uh, brenthang.gibraltar at gmail.com, and please list out all of your drums, all the sizes, and all of your cymbals, um, and make sure you take slow video around the drum kit. For those of you that have already submitted, and uh, you're just waiting for me to call your name, sorry, I've got a laundry list of you guys to go through that I've already chosen, so you guys might be next. Thank you for watching, we'll see you next time.